I have a friend, Ed, after him, Eddie is named, that I haven't seen for 12 years, but Ed and I get on the phone every now and again. But the question I really wanted to answer was a question you asked earlier. How did you meet him? Because I met Edward twice. And the first time, I had just joined the Army in 1964, and they made me go on summer camp, even though I hadn't been trained how to be a soldier. I had nothing to do, so I'm lying down underneath a two and a half ton truck, sleeping, because there's nothing for me to do, I don't know anybody, there's nothing going on. And the voice comes up and says, what are you doing, <laughs> And I thought, this is not the voice of authority, this is a voice of curiosity. <laughs> so I got up and I got to know this curious voice, and it turned out to be my friend Edward. Now, Edward went through quite a few changes. He was, he was a proper banker married to a debutante when I met him, and by the time I left for Vietnam two years later, he was smoking pot and working as a taxi driver. <laughs> <laughs> I lost sight of him when I was in uh, Vietnam. He was, he was my good friend, but I, I couldn't find him when I returned from Vietnam in 19, 1972. Now, I looked all over. I, I, I looked in all the phone books and so on. I could not find him. In 1998, which is 30 years later, I was down in Nicaragua on a project building houses with Habitat for Humanity, and the woman who ran the project was married to a policeman who found missing people. I said, here's a missing person. His name is Edward Inskeep Cunningham Kinney. You won't find too many of those. And his good friend is Braxton Joseph Jeffrey Holly. You won't find many of those. So this guy located them, and the next thing I knew, I got a phone call in the middle of the night. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You found me! <laughs> and this was, thus ensued a one hour conversation, and we enjoy each other's company, and we talk frequently on Skype, although I haven't seen him for a long, long time. Thank you.